Bush Memorial Stadium, St. Louis. In a three-way tie with Cleveland for first place in the Century Division, the surprising Saints and the scrappy Cardinals were not about to give anything away if they could help it in this hotly fought battle. On the Cardinals' second play from scrimmage, Johnny Rowland, number 23, roared 25 yards up the middle, and it looked like St. Louis had its running game in high gear right from the start. Play, he smashed into Rowland, finessing a fumble. The ball, however, popped into Bobby Joe Conrad's arms for a 15-yard gain. But the New Orleans defense held and forced St. Louis to settle for a field goal and a slim 3-0 lead. Not to be outdone, New Orleans offense struck right back. Tony Lorick on a screen went nine yards for a touchdown that gave the surprising Saints a 7-3 advantage. But as the ball changed hands, so did the score. With a third and 16 on their own 35, the Cardinals' Jim Hart hit Jackie Smith, who, with a block from the ubiquitous Bobby Joe Conrad, went all the way for a 65-yard touchdown that seesawed St. Louis back into a 10-7 lead. But Kilmer and the Saints were undaunted. The Saints wanted a score. Kilmer sent Dan Abramowitz into the end zone where he made one of the great grabs of the season for a 19-yard touchdown. But the Cardinals had been behind before and had come back. This time, Sid Edwards came around left end like a truck and fought his way 41 yards to the one-yard line. There, a fired-up Jim Hart dove over himself for the touchdown and scampered off the field with a 17-17 tie. But the Saints were fired up themselves. Late in the fourth quarter, Tony Lorick spun around left end for 36 yards, and the Saints were in range. Fourth and two at the 29. And in the key play of the game, the Saints went for all the marbles and lost as their fake field goal failed. The joyous Cardinals at hell stopped a stunned New Orleans team at a crucial moment. 